A trip to the park turned into a frightening experience for an Oahu family after a pack of dogs attacked their young daughter. This happened Saturday afternoon at Kaka'ako Waterfront Park. The family told us about eight to ten dogs surrounded their 11-year-old daughter and one of them bit her on the leg. Police tell us the child was taken to the hospital for her injuries, which were not life-threatening. By the time officers got there, though, the dogs were gone and there was nothing police could do. So the family turned to Action Line to share their story and find out what's being done to protect park users. Sarah Madison reports. The family did not want to be identified, but tells me they hardly visit Kaka'ako Waterfront Park. Unfortunately, the day that they did became a horrifying experience. The mother says her three children were running up and down these hills. They didn't do anything to provoke the dogs, but the family believes the dogs may have been territorial. So as the three kids were running down the hill towards me, my daughter came first. When she passed them, the whole pack of dogs stood up and started barking and chasing her the rest of the way down the hill. The family says there were about eight to ten dogs. They just started jumping and circling around me. My mom's friend was with us, so he picked me up, and I think that's when the dog bit me. It was a matter of like 20 or 30 seconds. It goes really, really fast, and they surrounded her, and they were kind of barking and jumping at her. Um, we didn't, we didn't think that they were going to bite her. We just thought that, you know, they were just kind of getting excited. But, um, so we ran over there to pick her up, but we didn't know that they, they already bit her leg. The Hawaiian Humane Society says it did not receive a report about this incident, but it has received complaints about dogs on the loose at the park. We try and go out there regularly because we know it's an ongoing issue of dogs in the area. Um, either, number one, we do education and um, about the leash law and keeping their dogs um, secured. Um, and in some cases, last year, we've actually cited for dangerous dog in the park. The rule at Kaka'ako Waterfront Park, keep pets on leash or caged at all times. But if a dog is not leashed or looks dangerous... Anytime something like this happens, it's really important that the public call 911. And what if it's coming towards you? Anything you can use as a, um, to block an attack, whether it be a big bag, an umbrella, a clipboard, anything like that, um, to get something the dog to you know, be a barrier. Basically, if you have something, block them, but what if you don't have anything? Then walk in the opposite direction, slowly. Don't run, because once you start running, they'll chase. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News. The Hawaii Community Development Authority has jurisdiction over Kaka'ako Waterfront Park. We got answers from them about what they're doing to address this incident. The agency told us that staff went to the park after they learned of the incident and reminded park users that pets should never be off-leash and that anyone caught breaking the rules will be cited. HCDA is also working on implementing new rules at the park. Issues like uh, tent stakes in the park, um, it's not good for the park management, not good for the grass. Um, you know, issues about, uh, you know, the size of the, the uh, maybe structures you put up. Um, you know, the park has to be, again, open for everyone. So we want to be sure that when those types of structures are put up, they're temporary and they're for the enjoyment of the park. The governor still needs to sign off on the new rules. When they take effect, violators will be fined $50 for the first offense, $100 for the second or third offenses, and $500 for repeated offenses. If you have a consumer concern, call Action Line at 591-0222 weekdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. or email actionline at khon2.com.